everyone. My birthday recently just passed and I got a very, very nice gift, which is what I'll be sharing with you guys today. And that, and that is my drawing art set. This is gigantic. It's like a gigantic briefcase. Um, it has 126 pieces. So exciting. So that's what we're going to look into today. So yeah, let's get into it. So we're going to start off by taking off in the front and we can actually open the briefcase. So now let's open up this gigantic art set. And here we are. It's so big. Um, these are actually graphite pencils over here. And over here we have charcoal pencils. And down here we have a little wooden mannequin where which we could like color on and draw on to see all the colors and stuff. This actually comes with the stand where we could put it on and we could actually just leave it there. So there we have that. Um, that is this side of the board. And if we take off this phone thing, we have colored pencils. There is 24 of these nice brightly colored pencils. And yeah, it gives you a lot of motivation to color and design more things, which I love. So this actually has a secret compartment because this is not the entire suitcase. There is more to this. When we open this up, there is a layer below and we could open both sides. And there is a booklet. Um, it's an artist tools and techniques booklet, booklet um, and it explains everything that you need to know. So yes, we have that. And down here, these are oil pastels. Over here, we have like a sanding paper block. And this is actually a kneaded eraser, which I love because I just love how satisfying it is. Um, and we do have a ruler in the back over here. And then put that right back in. Moving on to this side. Here we have two different types of papers. Um, this is just normal paper that you use to draw on. And this is like slightly thicker paper, um, and it's a lot more hard. So those are the papers in here. We have all the soft pastels, that's what we call these. Um, they have two different sections for these. And it has this layer that covers it so that it doesn't fall over. And these are very, very fragile. So I'll show you guys how all these work. Since this is actually my first time also um, playing around with some soft pastels. So it's actually going to be pretty fun. Um, my art teacher had a lot of these and it's very fun to just color with them. It's really nice. So why don't we try that? So this here is the nice teal green one. Um, and then we could also use it like putting it down like this and bring some texture. But yes, and then we have all these different colors. Here we have like a red orange over here. So those are practically the soft pastels. Um, so let's cover that back up. Because we don't want any more colors blending into the other ones. So here we have what we call stumps. Um, and these are actually used to blend in colored pencils, I'm pretty sure. And there's different sizes. It's like a number three, it says there. And then this is a number four. This is like a slightly thicker one. That's a slightly thinner one. So yeah, we have all of those. And then we come into all the interesting stuff. We have the charcoal sticks and the graphite sticks. So let's take a look. Let's take off the layer of protection, and let me show you guys how this works. So there is three different types of textures. There's a small, medium, and a hard over there. Um, this charcoal pencils are used for like a rough draft, and it's just like a lot easier to do it with charcoal pencils and charcoal sticks. So here we have these 
but these are very messy these are very very dark as you can see so yes that's that and then we have the little graphite sticks um these are like used to like sketch stuff out so again instead of like um using a normal pencil this is like a lot more easier to use see it's a lot more lighter it's a lot more easier and you could bring in a lot of texture a lot of nice dark colors medium and some very light so yeah that's what those are used for we cover all that back up back all the way inside we have in sharpener it comes with two different sizes that we could sharpen with so put that back in and then in this side we have an eraser this is like your normal rubber eraser um that you could use like on a daily basis but over here we have the kneaded eraser so there's actually a difference between these they might look the same but the kneaded one you could like mold into different shapes so if you want to get like the tiniest little um bit that you want to erase you could like mold it into that shape and you could erase it um but the normal rubber eraser you have to it's going to be really hard to get the small spots you could only get like the main big spots so that's why the kneaded eraser is a lot more easier and that would actually be it for our artist kit here which is filled with 126 different artist things um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next video bye